Hello everyone. We will continue the topic ALV. In the previous lecture, we fetched the data from VBAK and VBAP tables. Now we will start with the first step of ALV creation. What is the first step of ALV creation? We have to create a field catalog and we can create a field catalog by two ways. We will use the first way to create a field catalog. We will use SAP function module to create a field catalog. I will copy this function module reuse underscore ALB underscore field catalog underscore merge. How to call this function module? I will go to pattern button. I will pass the name of the function module. I will press enter. Now, what is the purpose of this function module? It will generate a field catalog. It will return the field catalog to us. SAP will return the field catalog. How this function module is working? What this function module is saying, pass me the columns. I will generate a field catalog for you but you have to pass the columns in the form of a structure. So we will create a structure. We will pass the structure to this function module and it will return a field catalog to us. Now we require total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns in the output. We will not take VBELN again because we have already taken from the VBAK table. So total we will display seven columns in the output. So we will create a structure of seven columns. Whenever we will pass the structure of seven columns to this SAP function module, it will return the field catalog to us. So our task is only to pass the structure to this function module. It will automatically return the field catalog to us. So I will create a structure. I will go to SC11 transaction code and we will create a structure of seven columns which are required in the output. I will choose the third radio button. I will create a structure. I will click on to create button structure. I will say I'll give that description sales structure. Now I will pass the seven columns. We'll simply do the copy paste five from first and two from second. VBELN type data element ER dat type ER dat ERZDT type ERZDT will go for ER num type ER num VB type VB TYPL is the data element for the same. Now I will go for rest of the two columns. OSNAR type OSNAR underscore VA then we will go for Matena type Matena. So we created a structure of seven columns. I will save this structure and I will activate this structure. 
Now I will pass this structure to this SAP function module. I will uncomment exporting. I will uncomment I underscore structure name and I will pass the name of the structure. Now it will return the field catalog to us. Means CT field cat will return to our local internal table. Suppose I gave the name LT underscore field cat. SAP best practices, we should always, always uncomment the exceptions. If some error comes, it, we can easily predict. Now, what will be the type of LT field cat? It will be same as that of CT field cat. So I will check in this function module. What is the type of CT underscore field cat? It is a part of changing. I will double click. I will go to changing tab. CT field cat is of this type. So I'll simply copy and paste in our program. So I will declare data LT underscore field cat type this. I will check the syntax and I will activate the program. Now, for the best understanding, I will show in the debugging mode how SAP is generating the field catalog. I'll put the breakpoint on this function module. I will give the input. I will take the input from the table. I will go to VBAK table. Suppose I will take some input. so that I can pass to the program. Okay, I will take this. I will go for execute. Now this function module will take the structure of seven columns. It will return the field catalog. Currently field catalog is blank, zero, nothing. I am doing F6. Now I executed the function module and you can see SAP automatically generated the field catalog. We have seven columns field catalog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the seven fields of the field catalog. If I will go here, you can see we have long label, medium label, short label. What are the data types? So SAP automatically generated each and everything. Your target is only, only to pass the name of the structure. So our field catalog generated. Now, what is our next target? Next target. Our next target is we have to bind our data with the field catalog. If you will see, our data is in two internal tables, LT underscore VBAK and LT underscore VBAP. We have to bind this data with our field catalog LT underscore field cat. And how we will bind with the help of any of these things. That part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.